I'd like to thank all of you um, for coming up to spend a little bit of time with us uh, to, to visit our home and to hear what we have to say. Um, it, it's hard not to notice that the authors of AB SB1 are not here. And to me, that's just absolutely outrageous that they, they chose not to come for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> I'm a member of the Bad River Band of Lake Superior Ojibwe Indians, and that name says it all for us who we are, what we're connected to, what's important to us. That's our identity. We live that. <clears throat> Before things uh, got started, we had <clears throat> a drum outside. We sang some songs. We danced for Mother Earth that was not intended to offend anybody, that was a prayer to help us protect those things that are near and dear to us, those things that we need to live and to continue our lives and our way of life as we know it. <clears throat> it's a bit difficult to um, stand here and speak in this particular forum. Um, like many other people here, um, I have so much on my mind, so many very strong feelings uh, about all of this that <clears throat> I, I could sit here and talk for a couple of hours quite quite easily. And I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of the folks in the room here uh, could probably do that as well. Um, <clears throat> I think it's important, uh, a little bit earlier, um, there, were, there was a gentleman who talked about uh, uh, <clears throat> how as the water works its way towards us from the site of the proposed mine, how it would be diluted by these other sources of water coming in. And <clears throat> I would like to say uh, very bluntly that dilution is not <clears throat> a solution for pollution. <clears throat> I, I'd also like and I think it's important to correct the record, and, and I'm not meaning to uh, be offensive to anybody, but <clears throat> the Bad River and Cacogan River both flow into a very large, very pristine wetland area referred to as the Bad River and Cacogan Sloughs. It's huge, it's pristine, it's beautiful. Anybody who's ever been there knows what I'm talking about when I say that. And it's simply not true that water coming down the Bad River is not connected to the wild rice in, in the Cacogan sloughs. It's not true. We have wild rice in the Bad River Slough as well, and in Honest John's Lake, and all throughout that, that huge freshwater estuary, that, that wetland complex collectively referred to as the Bad River Cotagan Sloughs. They are very much connected. <clears throat> um, in fact, um, 
when the Bad River floods, which is not exactly an infrequent occurrence, we actually have water from the Bad River that goes directly into the Catawba. So again, I don't want to uh, be offensive to anybody, but I think that's a, a very important detail uh, for people uh, to understand. Um, this is this is our home, and as a member of, of the of the Bad River Band, this place this is our ancestral homeland, where all of those generations uh, before us lived and loved and walked and talked and did those things that they taught us how to do, that we still do today. And <clears throat> we, we will not, <clears throat> we will not stand idly by and let that be thrown away, <clears throat> to, to let our homeland or our way of life be sacrificed by something like this, by AB, SB1 legislation, uh, anything. Uh, we will not stand by and let that happen. Several people today have talked about our responsibility to the future generations, and that's a very real thing. And when we think about impacts to people, <coughs> Uh, it's not just those of us who, who are alive today, who are walking around here today. It's the future generations. And, you know, as, as, as time moves forward, there, there's so, so, so many people who are going to, to live in this place. And I think that... <clears throat> It's a betrayal to their future to do anything that, <clears throat> that would harm that for them. Um, one last thought that I, I'd like to, to share. Um, this, this past round of elections in November, heard a lot of talk about debt um, and how it's immoral to pass that along to the future generations. And I'd just like to leave you with a thought. <clears throat> to me, I think it's just as immoral, if not more so, to burden the future generations with a natural world whose integrity has been diminished by this type of activity. Oh. Yeah.